now we are moving on to the next segment, which is the most awaited segment. Uh, we are going to be doing startup pitches. And interestingly enough, we also have two school students, kids, who are coming and presenting their innovative ideas. And believe me, they're still studying right now. Now, in order to kind of help go through this entire segment, I am inviting Dr. Vidur Mahajan and Namita Thakur. Vidur will kind of moderate the startup pitches uh, on, uh, on my end, and Namita will do it for her kids, which is the YEA students. So without further ado, can I please welcome Dr. Vidur Mahajan to join me in this. Uh, doctor, are you there? Yes. Hi, Naveen. Uh, thank you so much for having me on board. It's an absolute honor. And, uh, you know, to your point of uh, school children, just today, I, I, I had out of curiosity ordered a book which was called Artificial Intelligence for Class 10 based on the CBSE 417 curriculum. And my mind was blown. So I'm not surprised that, uh, you know, kids nowadays are, you know, way ahead of, uh, of where we are. Sure. Vidur, I tried looking at your profile, but I would I would love if you could give us a little about what you're trying to do with AI sure. and imaging. Sure, sure. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a little cryptic. Uh, essentially, uh, I run a diagnostics company called Mahajan Imaging. Uh, we are one of the uh, larger diagnostics chains in North India focused very much on imaging. And uh, within Mahajan Imaging, I specifically lead all of our research and development. Uh, it's a department, we call it CARING, the Center for Advanced Research in Imaging, Neuroscience and Genomics, where we've built a technology platform uh, that is used by more than 40 artificial intelligence research groups across the world, uh, across you know, development, testing and deployment of AI solutions uh, in, clin in the clinical realm. Uh, the idea, very simply put, is to connect the AI applications ecosystem to the healthcare provider ecosystem. Uh, and both of them are very fragmented, as we all know. So we are trying to be the consolidation layer using technology. So Vidur, it's an absolute honor to have you, especially, uh, uh, I would call you still an entrepreneur in the making. You're, you're yeah. an absolutely great innovator in India. So the floor is yours. I would request you to present both the startups. Thank you. Sure. No, thank you, Naveen. You're too kind. Uh, so uh, first up, uh, we have uh, Sai Prasad Poyarikar. Uh, are you here, Sai? Uh, Saloni would uh, Sai is has he joined? Do we know? Yeah, he is coming. Okay, great. So I'll I'll just go ahead and intro him. Uh, so uh, Sai Prasad is the founder and CEO of Pacify Medical Technologies. Uh, he's an alumnus of uh, IIIT DM Kanchipuram and an idea to MIT uh, alumni as well. Uh, he focuses on solving the unmet needs and bringing novel medical devices and advanced wound healing and skin regeneration uh, into clinical practice. Uh, he's currently developing a spin, uh, skin spray gun, uh, which we'll all uh, uh, hear about in, in due course. He's a product designer by training and before starting Pacify Medical, he's worked with the BTEC lab uh, and several other companies and design products that are used all over the world. Uh, Pacify Medical specifically has received numerous grants and awards. Uh, I'm sure we'll hear about that uh, also from Sai. And uh, he aims to create a future where people who need life-changing technology don't feel the heavy stress of their situation. So uh, with that, uh, Sai Prasad, the floor is yours. Uh, I think the way the way we'll run this is uh, we'll do about six to seven minutes of presentation followed by three, four minutes of uh, Q&A. So uh, Sai, uh, floor is yours. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, good evening. I am Sai Prasad. At Pacifica, we are developing a de devices and solutions which will transform the way a skin transplantation surgery is performed. So here I like to present your uh, innovation of skin spray gun. Uh, we are tackling burns, and burns are huge in India. Ten lakhs people suffer burns and spend almost one to three months in the hospital to get the treatment right. And during this, uh, the surgery is performed in a very old-fashioned, whereas skin is transplanted from an upper thigh region and finally stitched on the wounds and uh, by the uh, old technique. Uh, to close the wound, they make an extra wound on the human body. 
And after surgically removing the skin, uh, they pass it between the skin meshes, and the mesh skin graft is finally stitched on the wounds. Uh, with this, the expansion, what the surgeons is able to get due to a manual stretching the skin by hands is up to one is to four. So one centimeter skin can cover a four centimeter of burn area, just to keep it simple. It requires a huge uh, procedure time, and the healing time is also uh, more. To solve this problem, uh, we develop a compact and portable surgical device where we can spray skin in real time without contacting the wounds and also easy to cover a difficult contours on the human body. And with that, just a stamp size skin is sufficient to cover a larger wounds. To imagine the size we thought, we mix it into smaller pieces of the skin, we load into the gun and mix with the solution and spray onto the wounds. This whole procedure takes less than 20 minutes. And with this, uh, we are able to get a significant high number of expansion as compared with, this, with the current process and with the shorter procedure time and faster healing. And with this, uh, we have filed a patent in India, Singapore, and US. Comparing these two processes head to head, uh, we save 80% of the human skin with a quicker procedure and faster healing uh, without depending on skin banks or cadaver skins. And it transforms to a huge savings to hospitals because of saving the resources and time of the patients. We have two product lineup. Uh, one is for processing the skin, uh, and the other is for spraying the skin on the wounds. And this is not a sci-fi concept. We have proven it, validated it on the humans by spraying skin uh, with the best viability in the category of 99.9%. And this is how we are compared with the competitors in India. Uh, the current gold standard, the expander uh, grafting with expansion of 1 is to 4 and the make uh, graft a uh, high uh, device with 1 is to 9. But we overcome this both with 1 is to 30 times expansion. Uh, uh, shorter procedure time, faster healing uh, without need of multiple surgeries and all this at one tenth of the cost. We are a team of engineers having experience in biomedical and product development. Backed by our professors having experience in medical device, uh, surgeons bring practical experience treating burns for 20 plus years, and also a national committee of burn, uh, 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 academy of burns, and of person helps on sales and marketing. The market what you are targeting currently is for burns, but the platform can be expanded for traumas and vitiligos. We have filed a patent in India, Asia Pacific, in Singapore and US, so this is the expected uh, market size for this. And for the burns, our primary customers are plastic surgeons, burn care hospitals. We plan to reach to them B2B channel partners. And the revenue model for us is the one-time device cost and repeated sales of the consumables, which are the single-use consumables used during a particular surgery. We plan to start with Maharashtra, where we are located, and then Tire One Cities and India expansion. Looking to raise one crore of this 20 lakhs has already been committed by an angel investors to complete the clinical validation, start with the pilot study. And we hope to reach market by uh, next uh, last quarter of 2022 uh, with your support. And today we are supported by uh, esteemed partners like Batik and IIT Bombay, College of Engineering Pune, MIT under Idea Square program is supporting us with the market entry supports, government grants uh, and bodies are supporting us uh, on the financial support sites. In a brief, uh, a skin spray gun helps you heal wound faster with higher expansion, shorter procedure time and faster healing at one tenth of the cost. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sai Prasad. That was uh, amazing to say the least. Uh, I I have a couple of questions. Uh, you know, the first is uh, what does the what kind of regulation is needed uh, for a device like this? Like, uh, does CDSU have to approve it, or uh, is it totally on the surgeon themselves as to what they want to use? Uh, so uh, uh, yes, uh, in, in India, CDSU has to approve this. And we have started with the procedure for that uh, to get an approval. And it is a class two medical device as per the Indian uh, regulatory standards. Got it. So your clinical study will cover all of their requirements. Yes, yes. Uh, so clinical study will be required for this and it will cover the requirements. Got it. And just related to that, uh, so uh, all of that regulation is included in the 1CR that you are raising right now? Because right, right. Uh, 
Yes, yes. Okay. Money, what I am raising. Got the it. regulatory cost is being included. Got it. So, and one, you know, question I had, maybe it's a strange one. Uh, why, why price yourself lower than the competition when, you know, like you are so much better than them? Like, uh, why would you re reduce your price? Because I'm assuming every hospital that has a burns unit would, uh, would need something, would need a skin grafting system. So why would you price yourself? And that too, so much lower, right? I think the competition was at three to four lakhs. Uh, the one that was just after you and you're aiming for one lakh. So why is that? Uh, fine. Uh, so th th there are two aspects to this. Uh, 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 this high-end uh, products which are in the market, they are not able to reach uh, to the large portion of the people. Uh, that is the first thing. Uh, there are hardly... Uh, and like very less number of hospitals who are using this, uh, the high-end technology products. So that, that is a, a plan. So if it is cost layer less and if I am able to get a cost from out from the consumables, uh, that, that is a plan. Uh, so uh, people's large number of hospitals can be used so the consumable sales may increase. Okay, got it. So the 5,000 rupees is the consumables cost every time the machine is used. Right, right, right. Great, yeah, nice. And uh, have you identified any channel partners as yet? There might be people in the audience who are willing who want to become channel partners for such technology. Yeah. Sure, so, I am welcome to that. Yes, we have identified uh, some uh, channel partners in India. Okay, great, yeah. perfect. Great, Thanks. thank you so much, Sai. Uh, this was uh, this was really really cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, next up, uh, we have uh, Vinod Mukundan, uh, who is the Chief Business Officer for Activo Labs. Uh, Vinod's passion lies in scaling and commercializing high-impact technology that touches lives. Having worked with MNCs like the Aditya Birla Group and Reliance Industries, he brings with him over 10 years of experience in multiple sales and leadership roles, both in the corporate and the startup worlds. At Activo Labs, he drives the company's effort to build and commercialize digital health innovations that improve the health of people across the cultures and countries. And I, I had an opportunity to look at, uh, uh, you know, their deck, and it is really uh, extensive, uh, the kind of work that they're doing. Uh, so, Vinod, uh, you know, floor is yours. Hi, Vinod. Thank you so much uh, for the introduction. And uh, thank you, Time Mumbai, as well, to uh, give us this opportunity. Uh, to provide a quick overview uh, about uh, Activo Labs. So, uh, as Vita mentioned, I'm the Chief Business Officer at uh, Activo Labs, and uh, we were actually founded way back in July 2017. And uh, over the course of the last four years, we have built a digital health platform uh, that uses real time data uh, from smartphones and IoT devices such as fitness trackers and wearables. Uh, to predict and prevent chronic diseases um, such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Um, we are a B2B2C company, so we uh, partner with institutions such as insurers, reinsurers, uh, health maintenance organizations, uh, banks, telcos, pharmaceutical companies, any, any organization that is looking to uh, empower patient education or engagement with real world, uh, uh, real world data. Uh, in terms of uh, the state of the company, uh, we are currently uh, looking at uh, going into Series A uh, la uh, later this year. Those stocks are uh, already ongoing. Uh, currently, we are... Uh, 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 sorry, Vinod, quick question. Uh, do you have a PowerPoint on? Because we can't see your screen in case that's... Uh... Ah, okay, apologies for that. Let me uh, try to reshare my screen. And, uh... Yeah, perfect. perfect. Are you able to see that? Okay, fantastic. Yes. So let me... Thanks, Vidal. I was just uh, mentioning that uh, currently we are deployed across uh, 12 countries in uh, Asia Pacific region. Um, and some of our key partners and clients uh, is a diverse set. We uh, partner with uh, right from reinsurance companies to insurers. We are even having conversations with uh, telecommunication companies, uh, essentially anybody who's looking to have a conversation, a meaningful and sustained conversation around health and wellness uh, with their uh, end uh, customers. Um, 
So since we are a B2B2C company, we actually sit right in the middle. So if you see on this slide, the industry is to your left and we connect them to the consumers uh, on the right. And what Activo Labs does is it uh, essentially our platform takes in real time data uh, both from, for example, insurers would have some amount of information on the customers. We can cross-pollinate that data with real-time uh, digital health data that we, uh, that we collect, uh, classify, and analyze. And then we can enable different journeys that leads to better customer acquisition, retention, uh, and engagement as well. Uh, when we started our journey uh, at Activo Labs, we looked at uh, different digital health solutions out there, uh, especially in the preventative healthcare uh, segment. Uh, we looked at the likes of Fitbit, uh, Garmin, Apple Health, Google Fit, uh, Vitality, and um, amongst others. And what we found was there were a few key challenges. Uh, the number one was uh, most of these platforms are quite high touch in the sense it um, necessitates the user to be compliant with say, uh, you must wear a fitness tracker, or you must manually input data, or you must use a particular platform, for example. So that is one uh, area we wanted to uh, solve. And the second one was, although uh, you know these companies were great and still are, and in fact, they helped kickstart that self-quantification uh, movement, especially in health, um, the, the, uh, how we interpret the data uh, was challenging. So for example, Fitbit, for example, gives me a wealth of data points. It gives me heart rate, uh, steps, calories burned, stairs climbed, light sleep, deep sleep, et cetera. Uh, but for the man on the street, that might be a bit difficult to understand because unless you're a doctor or a sports scientist, what does those data points actually mean? So the novelty of those data points uh, dies out pretty fast. And at the core of our platform lies the Activo score, uh, which, is, uh, which is a measure uh, of your health risk based on the amount of physical activity and sleep that you get. Um, and therefore it's a digital biomarker for your health and longevity. So this core itself was built by our medical team uh, based on a uh, deeply profiled population health study. Uh, the cohort size were in the five figures. Uh, we knew um, what, uh, we had access to the health records. We knew their physical activity and sleep times. And the study followed up uh, with the participants uh, over five years, seven years and nine years. And, Based on this longitudinal study, we present to a user a simple indicator it, uh, on a scale of 1 to 99, uh, where we say that if you maintain a score of 80 or above, that will lower the risk of you developing chronic conditions such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Um, this is a proprietary algorithm, and this is something that we use both for our customer engagement perspective, as well as we have our uh, risk analytics engine running in the background, um, which helps our enterprise understand the health risk of their population. Uh, so the, the uh, way we actually interact with uh, users is through uh, our Activo application. This is a flagship app. And at the core, like I said, it is around the Activo score, but we focus on three key areas, and that is on your physical lifestyle, nutrition, uh, as well as your mental well-being. Um, and all of these journeys, this digital, uh, digital therapeutical journeys, uh, have been built, uh, keeping in mind that we need to have a sustained uh, conversation uh, with the end user. And we have seen that uh, over uh, in all the uh, uh, deployments that we have had, including in India. We have seen that our users who use the app uh, have not only shown uh, consistent engagement rates, for example, in one of our programs, after 14 months of being on the app without any financial rewards or, or any penalty, uh, we have seen uh, a monthly active user uh, rate of 40%. Uh, and more importantly, uh, in terms of uh, their scores uh, and how they're improving the lifestyle, we have seen uh, what you see here is a representation of uh, the entire active user population over a period of six months, uh, we have seen that they improve their score, they improve their exercise time and sleep time and reduce their sedentary time, their sitting time uh, as well, which all would lead to uh, better health outcomes. Uh, this is our team. Uh, we are fortunate enough that uh, Activo Labs is actually founded and run by a team of uh, doctors, clinicians, data scientists, um, and experts in the digital health space. Um, and a lot of, uh, for example, Professor Lai and a lot of the members, as you see on the slide, uh, has been instrumental in building those uh, digital therapeutical journeys uh, that you have on the active application. 
Uh, in terms of the landscape of the competition, uh, to be honest uh, and frank, uh, the Apples and Googles of the world can do what we are doing, uh, but they are restricted by the fact that they are confined to their own platform. We are both platform and device agnostic. Um, and also, if you take a look at the other players currently in the market, uh, we try to differentiate ourselves by uh, providing consistent engagement, being agnostic, as well as having an integrated uh, rewards platform. Uh, in terms of maturity of the company, we are uh, GDPR compliant. Like I said, we are in multiple jurisdictions already. Um, we are uh, based out of Singapore, headquartered in Singapore. So we are also uh, compliant with the PDPA uh, Act over there. And we are ISO 27001 and ISO 13485 uh, certified as well uh, for the medical devices quality management aspect of it. Um, I think with the interest of time, I'm just going to stop there. There was a very quick and brief overview of uh, who we are and what we do. Um, and I would love to throw it back to you, Vidur, uh, if you have uh, any questions. Well, thank you so much, uh, you know, as I had expected, it is quite extensive, uh, you know, what you guys are doing. We just have like a, a minute or so. Uh, so just uh, a quick question. Uh, in one of the slides, you had shown that there's banks here and a customer here. So how, like, banks use activo for their customers or their employees like how does that particular example work absolutely i think the lines are blurring between what is an insurance company and what is a telco company and what is the insurance company so what we are seeing is hyper personalization of services and value added services as well so uh, what we enable is um, of course it is important for a bank to also have a healthy book and for example for aspects like retirement planning or wealth management um, we have we actually have partners who we are um, currently implementing this with where we are actually showing the user uh, how long they're going to live, for example, and what are the likelihood based on the Activo score. So oh, and uh, uh, just, uh, you know, in, in the interest of time, like, uh, uh, what is the regulatory status of some of these claims, right? Like, uh, are they regulated by, by any body or are they totally outside of uh, the purview of regulation? So currently, uh, we are uh, health and wellness app. So we are, in term, from a data security and privacy perspective, uh, we ad uh, we adhere to all the GDPR guidelines. So all the users consent uh, to sharing the data. But the reason why users are also uh, uh, giving us permission to, to have the data is because we're giving back to them um, a lot of benefits in terms of how they can manage not only their health, but also their uh, uh, financial well-being. That's awesome. Great. No, thank you so much, Vinod. Uh, this was very insightful. Uh, and I'm sure people found it to be, you know, something unique, maybe almost like a digital therapeutics uh, kind of intervention. So uh, thanks. So uh, thank you, uh, Naveen. I'll, I'll hand it back to you to, to bring on Namita. And uh, great. Thank you. Both amazing companies. Yeah, thank folks, so just, uh, just please do stay on here. Uh, Sai, Vinod and Vidur. Uh, yeah. You know, there was a there was a legacy setting which uh, Mr. Sudarshan Jain had done last year and which was to give a cash award to highly innovative startups. And uh, in that legacy, he wants to continue this year. And it is an honor and pleasure for me to actually say that, that uh, Dr. Apurva Ranjan Sharma of Nine Unicorns and Venture Catalyst has agreed to do that. And as a token of a, his appreciation and our appreciation, we would like to present to both these startups uh, a simple amount of 51,000, which we will, of course, transfer it to you. And I have Dr. Apurva here. Uh, as most of you know it, uh, he's one of the top 10 angel investors in India. Uh, in a recent demo day, uh, 12 of his startups raised $108 million. So both Activo and Sai, you know where you're heading next after this. And as time Mumbai, uh, I promise you, I'll get a direct meeting with Apurva. So Apurva, over to you. First of all, thank you uh, for inviting me. Uh, Naveen and Thai Mumbai and uh, I'm very encouraged to see uh, the student startups. Uh, frankly, my, my uh, best returns which we have got uh, in my startups, they are uh, entrepreneurs less than 20 years and when we invested in them. So that's why I'm always encouraged to, you know, see the, you know, younger and that's why we recently launched a campus fund also which is targeting the student startup. So I have two big success stories. Uh, one is this, uh, what do you call the uh, OEO, where we invested when he was less than 20. Um, rested is my latest success story when we invested when they were studying in Berkeley. 
so guys uh, very quickly we announce uh, 51000 rupees cash uh, award to startups from nine unicorns which is my 100 million dollar fund uh, which is uh, one of the first accelerator fund very very similar to the silicon valley based accelerators uh, but uh, we are uh, cutting checks anywhere between uh, you know 100000 dollar to million dollar to startups in idea stage uh um, campus fund is a part of it where we are investing 25 lakhs in startups which are there in the idea stage in the campus so hope some of you can and i am very happy to see some great uh, healthcare and uh, health tech and wellness uh, startups here and uh, and glad to also see a lot of good the ecosystem of uh, these startups is really really uh, doing well um at the same time you know uh, there are challenges but uh, i see a great future for healthcare and wellness startups in india that's why we are aggressively investing in that space and uh, you know these two startup which are pitching today uh, possibly you guys can uh, pitch us either for our campus fund or for our nine unicorn fund uh, you know we'll happy to look at it and uh, navin bhai will connect you to all our team um, and uh, you know i think that's it any point left from my side uh, you know happy to uh, you know uh, we so to all the best for the startups who presented today to win the award uh, and uh, all the best thanks apurva and thank you vidur thank you apurva and and yes we will definitely make the connect and get you in front of apurva and uh, napurva you, you hold on to your campus fund because now i'm inviting namita and her two kids from yea and the 25 lakhs and 25 lakhs you can invest in those two really amazing kids so thank you all uh, it's really an honor to have namita thapar here she is the executive director of mq pharmaceuticals and also a board member of pi she is an evangelist for women health and she has started yea so without further ado Namita if you can give us a little brief on YEA and what excellent work you've been doing over the past few years it'll be brilliant for the audience to listen to that over to you Namita wonderful thank you Naveen i'm not able to start my video it says uh, the host has disabled it oh there okay great super am i audible loud and clear okay fantastic so first and foremost uh, thank you so much for your kind words and um, thank you for inviting me as well as my young entrepreneur to this wonderful forum i think a health tech dedicated conference is so important and goes such a long way in uh, giving focus to the right aspects and the right conversations and what apurva said right now is just like music to my ears because he mentioned a couple of very successful startups and also a campus um, fund that he believes in and i think this is exactly what our country needs our country needs more people like apurva who believe in younger entrepreneurs and of course more people like your entire team who invite them to such important forums and give them a platform to speak and so a little bit about young entrepreneurs academy we're in our 6th year uh, we have about 1000 alumni and uh, the goal here is to introduce a concept of entrepreneurship to 11 to 18 year old children and the entire genesis or thinking behind this idea is simply that um, you know i have two teenagers and when i compare them and the exposure they have to what it was like for me growing up i feel they're so far ahead in the way they're thinking um, you know their concepts their enthusiasm their curiosity that they need an important platform like young entrepreneurs academy where over 20 sessions we have entrepreneurs training them to come up with business ideas that are based on their interests and passion to write down a simple business plan pitch it in 3 minutes ensure they made sales and have customer testimonials before the pitch and make it as real as possible and so we have a thousand alumni who we are very proud to say are risk takers these are entrepreneurs who embrace failure these are entrepreneurs who want to solve the problems of our country and i have no doubt that these will be entrepreneurs who will be your future unicorns and most importantly job creators for india uh, so with that i'd like to present 
two of my lovely entrepreneurs who will be talking on uh, health. Of course, we have a large number of entrepreneurs who've come up with so many different ideas uh, around health that we're so proud of. And many of them have launched their businesses. They're making money and um, you know are very eager to scale their businesses. But uh, for now, I can go on and on about YA, but the best way for you to learn about how important this program is, how important it is to influence these young minds is by hearing my superstars uh, speak and then see that um, spark, that brilliance, that curiosity, and um, you know what India needs in these two young entrepreneurs. So with that, uh, Naveen, why don't we hand it over to the two of them? And once again, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Namita. Yeah, so who's going first? Is it Asta? Yes, good evening. I'll just share my screen, just a minute. Yes, uh, can you see it? Absolutely, go ahead. Great. So hello, good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm Asta Mehta. I am 12 years old and I go to the Cathedral and John Collins School in Mumbai. I have come up with the product Medibrace. Um, I'd like to say I'm very thankful for this opportunity uh, to spread the word of my product on such a prestigious platform. So before I start, I just have one question. Did you take your medicines today? If not yet, or if you've forgotten to, then don't worry, you're not alone. I personally have seen my grandfather face the recurring problem of forgetting to carry his medicine or having no hygienic place to store it. So I sent out a survey and I realized that it just wasn't him. There were several others too that faced the same problem. So um, that was the time I felt the need of this product, which would suit best to solve a universal problem. And then on each week, I kept improvising its design to give everyone the best and most comfortable feel while wearing Medibrace. So have a glimpse of this video, which will give you an idea of the product. bet it's briefed you well. So I'll just quickly go, go over it. Uh, Medibrace is a bracelet with a compartment to store your daily dose, a very hygienic and safe place to store your medicines. It is right on your wrist. So rest assured not to doubt its portable capability. Medibrace is the right choice. This is my market research. I conducted a survey through which I received the opinions of my target audience with over 500 responses. As we can see, 79% of the people faced the problem of forgetting to carry their medicine and 93% of the people said that they would buy this product. I feel my product has the capability to cater to a large and universal target audience, mainly people on medication and of course, senior citizens. I have two variations in my product. So one is the silicon Medibrace. It looks more like a watch and is priced at around 600 rupees. And then there's the metal Medibrace, which is more like a lean bracelet and that's priced at rupees 900. My future plans for Medibrace is to add a tech element and a new model, a clip on Medibrace, which we can clip on to smart watches. My marketing strategies will be to run a promotional activity with as many pharmacies as I can. The, they would give away one Medibrace to a customer that has purchased items over a certain amount. So that way it's a win-win. I will also market through social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and Google ads. I will also get in touch with corporate offices and old age homes. And it goes without saying word of mouth. My vision for Medibrace is to reach out to as many uh, old age homes as I can, spread to the overseas market, and of course, seeing Medibrace being worn by everyone. These are my financials per unit. 
you don't have to put any effort at all. All you have to do is fill your medicines, open your Medibrace and pop the medicines in your mouth. Now tell me, would you remember to take your medicines? Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful evening ahead. Thank you, Asta. I hope you can ship this to my mom in Bangalore. Yes, I would love to. Please do. That was really wonderful. And what did you say your age was, Asta? I'm 12 years old. Yeah, I'm going to die now, for sure. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So, next, do we have Arya? Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Asta, just stay back. Let's yes, Arya I'm right here. Just you. go off screen. Okay, Arya, over to you. What's your innovation? Sure. Thank you. In the past year and a half, we've understood the meaning of death. It isn't the loss of life, but entire families succumbing to grief. The intriguing fact is that the total number of people who've succumbed to COVID-19 over the past year and a half account to only a fourth of the people who succumb to car cardiovascular diseases every year. That's 17.9 million people every year. 17.9 million families are held captive by the grief of losing a close one. At Caria ECP, we believe in preventing the disease from manifesting. Nonetheless, the ECP technology has shown substantial strength in even treating manifested cardiovascular uh, diseases. Increasing coronary blood flow by 20% to 40% can propel the body to create networks of capillaries that can bypass blocked vessels. Thus, Using cuffs attached to the lower limbs, the ECP technology achieves just that by increasing diastolic blood pressure. But the current models are exorbitant. With technological advancements, the technology can be honed to much more affordable rates. ECPs have three components, the electrocardiogram, the plethysmograph, and the ECP cuffs. The former two are to measure the patient's vitals and set the pace of diastolic compressions of the cuffs. By implementing the enhances in technology over the past few years, we can significantly lower their costs. The third component, the cuffs, have been revolutionized by sub substituting the air pressure cuffs with water-based ones based on our patented technology to alleviate the muscles, muscle fatigue and other slight ramifications with the contemporary machines. We've planned a dual market system, approaching hospitals and homes with our technology because prevention should be accessible to all, not just those in reach of hospitals. The three things that distinguish us from the contemporary uh, EECPs. The first is price. Those in the market today are five lakhs and above. We're trying to aim at a more cost-effective range. Second is catering to the non-specialized. With the advances in technology, we can easily substitute a professional looking after the ECP machine with technology thus allowing people in non-specialized, non-healthcare domains to actually use these technologies. And third is the water-based cuffs. Our sedentary lifestyle today will only supplement the rise in cardiovascular diseases in the days to come. To curtail this deadly bane, we must rely on prevention by assisting our body to naturally enhance itself. The internal rate of return seems optimistic, Nevertheless, it is shy of the true potency we see in this technology. With the skeleton seam, team, the results seem meager as shown. Nevertheless, with collaboration, collaborating with you, with your network and funds, we can make this enterprise revolutionary, capable of transforming healthcare from a cure-centered focus to preventative centered. Thank you. Thank you, Arya. And uh, have you developed this or is it still in production? This is in the ideation phase. Excellent. So I would request uh, all of you to kind of get in touch with Time Mumbai. And, and one thing that I must say is, you know, looking at both of you, I think the country is in good hands with respect to entrepreneurship. Again, I'd like to invite Dr. Apurva. Uh, Asta, can you come on the video, please? Dr. Apurva, can you also please come on the video? Okay, guys, uh, I'm there. So... First of all, I, 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 I think it's a great initiative. Why EA looks a great initiative for me. And, uh, you know, we've been uh, uh, thanks to Namita to introduce me to this such a wonderful organization. And I just told my kids also that they should join it. They're also less than 80. Uh, 
and uh, you know they're kind of uh, looking to be entrepreneur in future so they were really impressed to see the presentation which uh, Astha and uh, Arya has uh, done um, you know I think great initiative uh, we would love to as a nine unicorn uh, co-founder and also the partner uh, I would love to announce the prize of 51,000 for both of them, each one of you. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll happy to uh, support you guys also in the future. I think great concept you are working on, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I just want to share with you that, you know, there are many entrepreneurs who are, uh, who become entrepreneurs in less than 20 years and made a billion dollar company. So many billionaires like that. So, you know, you should read, you should read about them. You should read about Ritesh Shakarwal, or he started at the age of 17. You should read uh, many of my portfolio companies, the five, six, who's done startup at less than 20 years of age. So you guys are in the good track and, uh, you know, all the best uh, and uh, happy to associate with YEA through this platform. Nothing by thank you very much, Ty. Uh, thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you really, Apurva, and thank you, Namita, and thank you, both of you. And please get in touch with Ty for further of anything that you may require help from us. Uh, and on behalf of uh, YEA and the kids, I would like to um, extend a sincerest gratitude um, for this, uh, you know, cash uh, award. It will motivate the kids to no end and uh, really, really appreciate this gesture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. All thank the best. All. Uh, Arya, all the best, Asta. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.